Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? Um, today we're gonna be mod modifying a grasshopper script so that this shed explodes and rotates using one single slider. Uh, the purpose of this video is just to show how I troubleshoot through the grasshopper scripts to achieve the results that I'm looking for. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and link two reference videos below. Uh, one with the original grasshopper script showing how to control multiple sliders using one slider and another one using the Horster camera control. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So basically, what we set up here is we have uh, when you when you uh, load the script, it's going to have um, these sliders uh, into the box and rotate components. So because what I'm trying to do is make an animated exploding axon, um, we're going to use these sliders to move um, like the different parts of the sheds, so like the panels, the exterior panels, the concrete piers, um, there, it's going to be an animated explosion. Um, and it's going to look really nice, I think. Um, it's going to give it that layer that you can see where it starts and where it ends. It's, it's going to give it a good layer of information. So I think it's going to look good. So basically, what we've done here is we've already mapped our geometry to the move components. Uh, there's tons of videos on YouTube on how to move geometry in Grasshopper. So I don't think you guys really need to know that. Um, the only thing I'm going to point out is that we're going to need some negative uh, uh, components uh, because um, the concrete piers and stuff like that, those actually are going to explode down. So we're going to need to give them negative values. Um, but other than that, we just go ahead and map the geometries to our move, give it a direction, and give it either negative, or in this case, this one's just going to be positive. And then we're going to um, give it the control with the sliders. So I already went ahead and uh, gave it max values of what I think would look, would make a good exploded view. Um, so basically, the we have our slider for our first geometry. I'm going to go ahead and input that into the negative. And as you can see, boom, there it goes. Our concrete piers, nice. Okay, cool. And then so let's go with the floor joists. Boom, nice. Okay, cool. Uh, we got our A-frame, nice. And we're gonna do the wall sheeting, cool. And then lastly, we're gonna do our exterior panels. Cool. So that gives it a nice little exploded axon. Um, but like I said, I want to do like a little animation. Um, it's going to look really cool, I think. So uh, yeah, so now that we have our geometries input, um, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead. This was already connected. So let's go ahead and connect it again. And yeah, he has little steps right here. We got step one. Uh, step two, three, four. These are actually pretty linear. Um, the only the only difficulties I say is you're gonna run into is um, it's not something is not gonna behave quite the way you want it to, and you just gotta kind of dive in there and, and figure it out. Um, but hopefully this video um, provides some insights as to how you would modify your grasshopper scripts that you download from other people. So like I said. These originally control the box. We're going to use the sliders to control the movements of the panels. Um, so here we go. So we got um, step one, connect your sliders to the merge component. That's already done for us. Cool. OK. Clear record. We're going to hit OK. Cool. And now we're going to move our sliders. Oh, OK, so now we got to go to the initial starting position. Because we don't want to go from here to unexploded. We're going to go from, we're going to explode it. So actually, let's go back to zero. 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 Ah. Zero and zero. Perfect. So now let's go back here. Okay, record. We're going to clear record again. Now we're going to move our sliders again. So explode. Explode 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 perfect that looks nice okay cool 
So now step three, move your size and sideways. Step four, right click the D input above and choose internalized data. Okay, so what this is gonna do is it's gonna save the info that we just gave it. So right click, internalize data, okay, cool. Step five, go to the end of the definition and replace your slider inputs with the outputs. Okay, so let's take, let's take our geometry, our translated geometry in this case. We're gonna take our translated geometry which is all this right here. Yeah, we're gonna take our translated geometry, we're gonna move it down here, and then it said to replace the slider inputs with the outputs from the bank component. So this is the bank component. And just in case if you guys don't know, I, I'm new to Grasshopper as well, but um, you just, if you need more um, little inputs and outputs, you just go in here and then you just plus and minus them, so. Um, so yeah, so now that we got that, it says to replace. So wherever there was a slider input, we're going to replace it with a bang input. So as you can see, I have my geometries labeled one, two, three, four, five. It's good to just keep track of what you did. Um, so you know which one of the bang inputs you need. So we're just going to go from zero to four in this case. Um, so here we go. Boom. Okay, and then negative, okay, and then okay, and then that's gonna go there, and then that's gonna go there. Okay, cool. Okay, so now what? Push from the bank component, and then step six, control your animation with the animation slider. Okay, cool. Okay, so now, oh, nice. Okay, cool. So now it explodes it all explodes using the same lighter slider and why why did i want to do that because i wanted to create the animation and the animation as far as i know you can only do it from one slider cool okay that looks like a nice little okay cool nice so now at this point, if you wanted to just have that, you could just right click and hit animate. Um, however, I wanted to give it a, another, another um, aspect, which is to rotate the camera as, it, as the cabin is exploding, which I think is gonna look really nice. Um, it's just gonna give it an extra, that extra oomph that I think is just gonna push it over the top. So let's go back here. So what we need to do is we need to control the camera. For that, you're gonna to have to download Horster. It's called Horster, okay? Once you download it, you're gonna to have to sign up for like the Food for Rhino or something website. I forget what it's called. Um, but you have to sign up for it, then you can download it. And then, so we got get camera. Cool, okay, so we're gonna get the camera. What we need to do is set a rail we're going to need to set a rail for the camera and um, you can tell i already did this so okay there's that and there's that okay cool that's going to be our rail that's where the camera is going to travel along okay cool so now we're going to need to activate the camera control i'm going to need a boolean toggle right now it's let's keep it off okay cool Okay, we're going to need to set the path. So in this case, instead of set path, which you would do up here, you're going to do it here in Grasshopper. So we're going to assign a curve. Okay. Set one curve. Boom. Okay, that's done. Perfect. And now we're going to divide the curve so it looks, um, so the camera has more, has more points to, to look through. Um, so it just gives it a smoother animation. So we're gonna set the curve here. Okay, you can tell it set like three. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we wanna add more. So let's go to panel. Let's do 100 points. Make it look smooth. Okay, that's gonna go into N. So now you can see that it set it divided the thing into 100 points. Nice. Okay. And now we, we need to list them out. So, like, we have to tell Grasshopper 
we have to provide grasshopper like a list or something like that so i'm going to hit list item and then from point it's our point list we're going to go into list okay cool so now we got that our list item and this all these points are going to be the points of our camera location so we're going to go location here okay cool nice okay so now we want to set the target we don't want we want to set our own target so set one point let's go in here okay so t let's go t let's go c for coordinate let's go to the top right here that's our cool that's our target nice okay perfect now what we're gonna do we're gonna hide this guy we're gonna also hide the curve okay and then we're gonna hide that and then we're gonna hide all the points okay cool so we have that okay and now in theory we should just be able to do that okay okay let's hide this real quick <laughs> okay so why isn't it working we have that oh duh uh, turn it on okay so we turned it on activate turn on so now okay oh that's right okay so i forgot so because our original script that we downloaded only goes from zero to one but we gave it a hundred points we gotta we gotta modify these points so what I found to be useful in this case was just to multiply and then we're going to multiply by a hundred um, in this case so okay cool okay let's see let's move these guys down okay Okay. Okay, so now whatever value this is is going to be multiplied by a hundred. Okay, let's disconnect this. And now let's go animation slider to A. Multiply by a hundred. Now our result goes into list item. And now now it should work. Yeah, perfect nice okay now now i have an issue though now it explodes beyond what we can see um in order to easily let's do let's do a number slider in this case number slider let's go max 30. let's see what that looks like right max is 30. zero all right so what i'm gonna do that's going to go into lens. OK, cool. So that's going to go into lens. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explode it first. And then I'm going to mess with the lens length. OK. OK, I like that. I like that. OK, cool. So now we have a lens length of 22.9. So let's give it a max of 23 and see what that looks like. Ah, right, that's that's good. Cool. Max of 23. Okay, cool. Max of 23. Yeah, see? Okay. Cool. So now we have a rotating exploded axon, which I think looks really nice. Okay. Okay, cool. 
So at this point, what I'm going to do is that's done. I'm going to actually go in here, solid color to black. Makes it look a little bit nicer. You can see it better. Okay, cool. Um, let's go back. Okay, that's done. Cool. All right, awesome. Yeah, so now at this point, guys, just right click. We're going to go to animate. And like, like I said, what the insight at this point, like what was important for me was to be able to control everything with the one slider so that we can get to this point, which is the animation. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so at this point, you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar. If not, you know, animation control, here's where you set where you want to. Um, so in this case, let's see. I'm going to go to, here we go. Um, let's go vid parts. And we'll just go here. Then you can just set it right there. Uh, perfect. And then you hit perspective, render, you do all your stuff. Frame count, the more frames you have, the smoother it's going to look. And then you just hit OK. And then you could, from there, you could take it into Premiere or you could, well, you're going to have to take it into Premiere because it's going to export it as images. So you're going to need a video editor to make it into a movie. So you, I think you can also do it in Photoshop, maybe. I'm not sure. But then you can take it into Premiere, Photoshop, and do all your post-production and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, give the video a like. Share it with a friend. Share it with somebody who is like me. You know, I'm new to Grasshopper. And a lot of this stuff is, is really helpful in terms of, like, you know, getting my project, getting Grasshopper to do something that I want for my project. So um, thank you guys again. Um, See ya.